Hello Retroburn here. Four months ago, I uploaded my how to use where to find Steam's mini profile backgrounds video. It was geared specifically for the Steam Summer Sale 2020 though, so I'm making this more general how to use where to find Steam's mini profile backgrounds guide. Steam has launched a new item shop and they've all these nifty things in there. One of the very first things that caught my attention are these mini profile backgrounds. I was intrigued when I first read about these, so I made this guide on how to use, how to buy, and how those mini profile backgrounds work. For those of you who are hesitant to spend their hard earned steam points, this is all you need to know. And the first thing you need to know is if you've got enough points to purchase one. As of November 27, 2020, these things cost 2,000 Steam points. You get 103 or so Steam points for each dollar or so you spend on Steam purchases. So how many Steam points do I currently have? Simple. Just go to the Steam store, click on the Points Shop tab, and on the upper right corner of the resulting page, you should see your current balance of Steam points. Now. At the time this script was written, I only had 32 steam points, but being forgetful, I forgot to record that for this video. Anyway, for the sake of discussion, let's stick with that fact. I only had 32 points. In this video, we'll fix that deficit and calculate the bare minimum to spend so we can just reach 2000 points. So let's do some math. We click on the How Points Work button and determine that for my country, for every 50 pesos I spend, I'm going to get 103 Steam points. You can also alternatively Google for how many Steam points do I get for each purchase, and Google should give you an answer. So on the SERPs, we see that it's 100 points for every one US dollar. It's basically the same thing, but for the sake of illustration, Let's revert to the currency in my region. So here's the math. If I'm not mistaken, here's the process if you want to pinpoint accuracy and how much you should spend. 1. I have 32 points. I need 2000 to be able to purchase one Steam mini profile background. 2. So what I lack is 2000 points minus 32 points. That's 1968 points. That amount of points translated to real-world cash would be 1,968 steam points times the quantity 50 pesos divided by 103 steam points. That's 955.34 pesos. So I would need 955 pesos and 34 cents worth of purchase to be able to get 1,968 points. If the process puzzles you, the process is simple. 1. Know your current balance. 2. Subtract your balance from 2000, get the difference. 3. Multiply the difference by the conversion rule. Said conversion rule should be in the form of x, your currency, over steam points, and should be found in both 3a when you click on the how points work button, 3b when you google for how many steam points do I get for each purchase. So if you use US terms, that's the one found here. So that's real world money needed is equal to difference times the conversion rule. That's real world money needed equals to the difference times the quantity 1 US dollar divided by steam points given in the conversion rule. So if your current Steam Points balance is, say, 500, the difference would be, of course, 2,000 minus 500, that's 1,500 Steam Points. Real world money in USD would be 1,500 Steam Points times the quantity 1 USD over 100 Steam Points, that's 15 US dollars. Now that we've got that out of the way, we go back to the example, what I need. We've solved that and it's 955 pesos 34 cents. Of course, there's only a tiny chance that we're going to get that exact amount purchasing games that I like from Steam, 
So let's go a little over that, shall we? For me to reach that level, I've decided to buy the following games. Fell Seal, Arbiter's Mark, 220.98 passes. Orange Blood, 314.96 passes. Tiny Metal, 360.47 passes. These amount to 896.41 passes. Now, I could go crazy and buy a game worth 200 passes and be done with it. But for the sake of seeing if our formula holds true, we're going to reach or slightly exceed the 955.34 peso mark. For me to reach that level, I just lack 955.34 minus the sum of the games we've listed. That's 955.34 minus 896.41. That's 58.93. So we need to buy a 58.93 peso game. Going back to our wish list and now setting it to price. Scrolling down the list and we see that we have two options. Knights of Pen and Paper 2 and War for the Overworld. Given that the latter has a juicier discount, let's buy that. So after buying, we see that Evola. We now have 2,023 points. Of course, since we didn't buy the exact amount of 955.34 passes, our points have exceeded the 2,000 steam point mark. So now let's buy our mini profile. If this is your first time buying it, Steam should automatically set it as your mini profile background. You can just go to your profile page and then once there. So this is how it looks like. It's not this one. This is the animated mini profile backgrounds, not the animated profile backgrounds. In my case though, as this purchase would be the second one, theoretically, Steam should not set my new purchase as my mini profile background. Let's make the purchase now. Let's go to the Steam homepage, click on the Points Shop tab, click on the Backgrounds link, and then once there, click on the See All button. The resulting page will show you the current mini profile backgrounds Steam has on sale. I'm going to choose Hades. Once purchased, go back to your main profile and click the edit profile button and then navigate to the mini profile tab. If you've bought several, they should appear here. Click the one you currently want and then click the save button and that's it. That's how to use where to find Steam's mini profile backgrounds. This has been Retroburn and if you like this video please like, share, comment and or subscribe. Doing all four would be awesome and would go a long way in supporting my efforts to produce more content for you, my fellow PC gamers. Stay cool, stay frosty.